Hi guys, it's Andy from Man City Fan TV. Well, welcome to this video. This video is all about our defensive problems and our midfield problems. And I know there's been lots spoken about it. And it got me thinking, certainly after doing the podcast and listening to other people's videos and podcasts and listening to pundits and ex-players and everybody else. And everyone's got an opinion on it. And that's absolutely brilliant. So I just started thinking about our back four and started thinking about our central defensive midfielders and the way that people have been saying that Werner needs to be back in that central defensive midfield role. So I thought, I'm going to go back and I'm going to look through all the games this season, Premier League games, I'm not going to go through all the competitions and things like that. So what I thought I'd do is I, I went through every single formation for the back four and I also looked at certainly the games where we lost, draw, um, or we drew, and uh, we didn't perform particularly well in the Premier League only. I'm just This is solely the Premier League. So when I went through them, what I found, and uh, this video isn't my opinion. Uh, this is solely over to you. You can make of it what you will. You can look through it. You can decide where you think the problems are. Now, we know Laporte is out. We know that. Um, but that's still no excuse, really, in my opinion. Um, we've got plenty of um, defensive cover. Um, it's just they, for my in my opinion, on this particular part, um, I'm going to give you, and that is we are rotating far too often. Pep is changing the formation, not only in uh, midfield, central defensive midfield, but also he's changing the back four far too often. Uh, but other than that, I'm going to leave it up to you. So first off, I went through and I was looking at, uh, I'm going to bring up some graphics for you. This one here, as you can see, forget the, um, in, in these ones, forget the sort of the midfield and the attacking roles. I mean, they could have been anybody. Uh, I didn't really look at that. I'm looking solely at the, the back five, so the keeper and mainly the back four. So in this particular one, we've got Walker at right back, we've got Otamendi, we've got Laporte and we've got Sinchenko. Now, looking at my notes, uh, this partnership, this four at the back, uh, this season has played four times okay so four times we've had walker otamendi laporte and zinchenko so if i remove that and then i looked at sort of the next ones of uh, formations that i've had uh, we've had and if we take the next one uh, going through uh we will look at uh this one now this time around this is rodri um as a center back now I know there was potentially another game. I think there was another game where Rodri played as a centre-back and that was with uh, Walker Ferner, um, Rodri and Cancelo. And that's this particular one here where he's played as a centre-back. But I've got a funny feeling. Yeah, I'm sure he's played another game, but maybe I was wrong. Uh, but if you look at this one, this time we've got Walker, Fernandinho and Rodri with Cancelo uh, playing as a left-back this time. If we go to the next one, Walker and Benjamin Mendy playing uh, together. And uh, this time, they've only played together um, once uh, with Fernandinho and Stones this time as centre-back. Of course, we know that game uh, was the other night. Moving through to Cancelo uh, with Walker, uh, they played together once. Uh, with Cancelo, as I said before, on, on the left-hand side. Cancelo um, playing, if I can bring this one up, move that one out of the way. Uh, Cancelo has played twice as a right-back um, this season, with this time Fernandinho, Stones and Mendy. So again, we've got swapping around at the right-back position there. Angelino, we go back and have a look at Angelino. Angelino has played on that uh, left-hand side. Remember, these are Premier League games. I'm not talking about cup competitions um, or Champions League. Uh, this time, we've got Walker, Fernandinho, Stones with Angelino. Uh, so if we look at, we said before, the four times, the four main games out of, uh, we're now on fifth, uh, this is our 15th game tonight uh, against Burnley. Walker, Otamendi, Laporte and Zinchenko has played the most together. Now we know, um, Laporte is out injured, and that's perfectly fine. If we look at the next most um, pairings together, what we've had is Walker, Stones, Otamendi, and Zinchenko, and they've played together uh, twice this season as a as a you know a defensive four. Let's call it. 
We've also had, just once, we've had Walker, Bernardino, this time with Otamendi uh, and Benjamin Mendy playing uh, on the left-hand side. So straight away, I've just shown you, and I went through the figures looking just solely at the, the defenders. Um, and what we've got is we've got Walker Otamendi. Um, just remove that graphic off the screen uh, there. What we've got is we've got Walker Otamendi Laporte Zinchenko played four times, and, and no doubt Laporte would have played every game if he was fit. Uh, we've got Walker Stones, Otamendi and Zinchenko playing twice together. We've got Walker, Otamendi, Fernandinho and Benjamin Mendy playing once. We've got Cancelo, Fernandinho, Stones, Mendy twice. We've got Cancelo, Ferner, Rodri and Mendy once. Uh, we've got Walker, Otamendi, Fernandinho and Cancelo as a left back once. We've got Walker, Fernandinho, Stones and Angelino uh, once uh, on there. We've got Walker, Stones, Fernandinho uh, and Mendy once, and Walker, Ferner, Rodri, and Cancelo on the left on the left as well once. So that, I mean, that is you know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine different pairings of a back four. Nine different pairings of a back four in so far before tonight's game against Burnley in fourteen games. That can't be healthy. That cannot be healthy to be constantly switching the back four, switching the centre-back pairing, switching the full-backs as well on both sides. Mainly Walker has been the main one, but Cancelo has played uh, as the right-back in on one, two, on three occasions as the right-back. Uh, if we go across on the other side, Sinchenko played six times. Uh, so he probably would have been still today uh, the number one uh, left-back. Uh, but other than that, we've had Mendy played one, three, four, uh, five He's played five times. We've had Cancelo play one, two, twice on the left-hand side. And we've had Angelino also play as a left-back. So that is not healthy. That is not healthy. I don't know another team in the Premier League that switches their back four around so often. Um, like I said, that's nine times, nine times in 14 games so far this season, we haven't had a settled back four. Um, okay, we'll take Laporte out of that. So... If we, if we take Laporte out of the 14 games, well, let's say nine, nine, ten times we've had without Laporte, we've had uh, a completely different uh, back, back four partnership. So what I did next is I went through and I had a look and I went, went through every game and was looking not only at the back fours, but I was looking who was playing in, in front of them, who was the holding midfielder or was the occasions where there were two holding midfielders in Rodri and Gundogan. Uh, so I went through every single game and looked at that. So not only are we changing our back four line up around, but we're also changing who sits in front of them as well. Now, we all know, we all believe, most of us believe that Fernandinho should be our central defensive midfielder. So I went through and I had a look at the games, just the games in particular, um, where we uh, where we lost or we drew or we, you know, we didn't pick up maximum points. And I went through the three different pairings in that central defensive midfield role in the Premier League. Now, Rodri has played there on his own six times so far this season with zero losses. We've never lost when Rodri's played as the holding cent uh, central defensive midfielder. Gundogan has played there five times on his own and we've had one draw and then the others um, out of that particular one. Uh, we've had Rodri and Gundogan play together four times in the central defensive midfield role. Out of those four, we've had two losses and two draws. So I'm going to show you those games where we've actually uh, lost points. And uh, this is the first one. And if we look at this formation here, this time I've added in the central defensive midfielders into the games uh, and the back four of that particular game. So we've got Walker, Otamendi, Stones and Zinchenko. But this is the game where we lost 3-2 to Norwich. And we've got Gundogan and Rodri in a holding role two central defensive midfielders forget the formations uh, in attack i'm just putting those two there solely to show you that they are two holding midfielders that you know gundawan might have played slightly ahead of rodri and things like that but we're talking about the pace of the game the energy in 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 that midfield and the way we move the ball quicker when we've got fernandinho in there so that's that was the norwich game if we take the wolves game where we got beat two 0 at home Again, this time we've got Walker, Otamendi and Fernandinho um, rather than Otamendi and Stones in the previous one. And this time Cancelo as our left back. Well, look again, we've got Gundogan 
and Rodri in those sort of defensive roles, um, or again, two of defensive-minded players playing in that particular formation. So that was against Wolves when we lost 2-0. If we go through to the Spurs game where it was 2-2 and we possibly should have got that decision at the end, this time the defence is Walker, this time it's Otamendi and Laporte, and this time Zinchenko is playing on the left. Again, look at the two players in midfield, Gundogan and Rodri. Um, and then if we go through the Liverpool game, Liverpool this time we had Walker, we had Stones and Fernandinho, this time we had Angelino as our left back. But again, same things coming through again. Gundogan and Rodri in those central defensive roles in that, in that area anyway. Maybe Rodri was the holder and Gundogan slightly further forward. But the same again. This time we got beat 3-1 by uh, Liverpool. And finally, if we take a look at what happened at the weekend, this time we have Walker, Stones, Fernandinho and this time Ben Mendy on the left-hand side. And there you go. This time Gundogan holding on his own. So when you look at it, when you look at it and you start breaking it down, there's something not quite right. There's something definitely not quite right in why. And, and it's a question for still arguably the greatest manager in the world right now, which is Pep Guardiola. But why does he constantly, nine times out of 14 games, switch up the back four? Be that swapping fullback, swapping central, you know, centre back pairings. Why, why has he done it nine times out of 14? I'd love to go back, I haven't got time, but I'd love to go back and take a look at all the other teams, look at the top teams like Leicester, looking at Liverpool, looking at Chelsea, uh, looking at Arsenal or even Spurs and United and seeing how many times they've swapped their back four pairing uh, this season in the 14 games so far that we've had. And then I'd also like to see who out of those are being swapped around in that central defensive midfield role. Because as we know, Rodri so far, um, has played six times in that holding role on his own and we've never lost. Gundogan, five with one draw. But when we play Gundogan and um, Rodri as in, in that defensive midfield area, uh, we've played them four times, two losses and two draws. So for me, that says an awful lot. The fact that we need stability in the uh, right back, left back areas. We need to go with uh, you know, a centre back pairing and stick with it for a few games. For me, we definitely need Fernandinho back in this central defensive midfield role for Manchester City. But over to you, what are your thoughts on it? It's not about uh, what I think. That's just my opinion about Fernandinho. Uh, but I do think we need some stability at Manchester City in our defence and certainly that central defensive midfield role. So give us your thoughts uh, below the video. Who would your steady back four be? Obviously, Laporte is out until probably the end of January. But right now, Yes, we've not got Zinchenko, but we need to be consistent, in my opinion. But uh, give us your thoughts below. This is Andy from Man City Fan TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell notification. And uh, we'll be at uh, Turf Moor tonight. And uh, look out for all the other videos on Man City Fan TV. Take care. See you soon, Blues.